What's up guys, this is Jeremy here from Achievement Hunter, and uh, it's late, it's late at night in the Achievement Hunter office, everyone else has gone home, but I really wanted to get this guide out today, so we are going to do the bobblehead locations right now, let's get you all the bobbleheads, starting with Strength, which is in the Mass Fusion building, uh, I'm showing you where exactly this is, there is Vault 111 in Sanctuary where you start the game up there, and the Mass Fusion building is down here, kind of in the middle of the city. There's Fenuel Hall. I love going there in real life. A lot of good food. So you will see the bobblehead pretty much right when you walk in. You'll see that sign, and if you look up, there's this metal statue. And I'm going to pull out my sniper and zoom in to show you it is right there, kind of chilling on top of this statue. So you need to fight your way through a bunch of... I think this place is full of gunners, which are kind of like Fallout 4's version of the Talon Mercs. Just a mercenary group. Uh, some of them are actually pretty tough, so fight through here. They're kind of high level. You might want to wait a little while before coming here. But get all the way to the roof. You'll see this uh, couch right here. And you'll fight a uh, gunner boss who is wearing power armor. And if you jump over the edge, be very careful where you step. You can grab the strength bobblehead. And there you go. We are off with the first one. On to perception. This is probably the easiest bobblehead in the game. You'll get it pretty much right away. On your first mission when you exit the vault, you'll be sent to Concord in the Museum of Freedom. So uh, fight a bunch of raiders outside and then head inside where you'll do pretty much the same thing. Fight a bunch of raiders. But you'll have a mission to go upstairs and meet the Minutemen. So go all the way up exactly to where you speak with uh, Preston Garvey, which is in this room here. So you'll talk to him a little bit. Turn to the side. And the bobblehead is just going to be on the desk right there. So uh, you can go ahead and pick that guy up. Next is Endurance. This is at Poseidon Energy. So there is the very southeast corner of the map. And here is Poseidon Energy. So it's pretty close to the edge of the map. Uh, the map's not huge. You can There's actually some locations off of that box. So uh, I'm trying to give you points based on like the edge of the map to give you an idea of where to go. So in this building, you'll fight a bunch of Protectrons, turrets, and eventually some raiders. So the raiders are going to come out of this raider camp over here. I'm showing you, uh, you'll see that classic barbed wire wall that they're known for. You're going to uh, get onto the other side of that. You can go through a door, but I just kind of jump over the wall right here. And then just start heading up. And there are going to be these small rooms that you go through. One here, go through that, and you'll come to a second one. You'll know you're in the right one when you see this billboard right across from you. And uh, on the desk, in front of that billboard, or bulletin board, I guess that would be, a billboard's like on the street, is the Endurance Bobblehead. And there you go, that is the E in Special. So, three down. On to Charisma. This one is a bitch. So, it is in the Parson State Insane Asylum. There we go. Uh, what sucks about this is the only time you can get it is during this mission, the Secret of Cabot House, because otherwise the asylum is locked. Now, to start the series of missions that leads to this, you need to go to the Insane Asylum, kill all the guards out front, and then uh, run into a dude that's going to spawn in either, uh, like, Diamond City, Bunker Hill Monument, and uh, I actually have the other one written down right here. Do -do 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 Good neighbor. So he's going to spawn in one of those places. His name is Edward Deegan. So run into him, start the missions, oh, yeah. and you'll find the Charisma Bobblehead on Jack's desk when you're at this part of the mission. That was my 10th Bobblehead, so there is a, they're not dolls, which is the first achievement you are going to get. So, yep, there's Charisma. Kind of a bitch, that one. Uh, intelligence is, oddly enough, in the Boston Public Library. Seems to make sense. So I'm showing you it's just a stone's throw from Diamond City right to the east. You're going to go inside the door on the west side of the public library, fight a bunch of super mutants in here, a couple protectrons, some turrets, and fight your way all the way to the back of this room. And the bobblehead is just kind of sitting on a computer desk. This one is pretty easy. As long as you're high enough level to fight those super mutants, you will be all set to just waltz in and uh, grab this one. There's no other real reason to come to the public library as far as I've seen. So there you go. Now, Agility is on the wreck of the FMS Northern Star, which is, like, all the way in the southeast of the map. It's pretty much the last location before you hit what is just water, really. And you'll see it's this big boat. I'm going to pull out my sniper and show you right up there is the bobblehead right on the bow, kind of hanging out on that piece of wood there. 
So just run yourself inside, all the way upstairs, you're gonna have to fight some Mire Lurks to get this far. Uh, you can see some glowing Mire Lurks on the ground here. And then you're gonna have to fight a bunch of uh, Gunners. I think they're Gunners. It's either Gunners or Raiders. I believe Gunners right here. Get to the back, and uh, you'll just see it hanging out right there. Just precariously on the edge. If it fell, you would probably never find it. But you found it now, so there's the agility yes. one. And we are going to go to the very last of the special bobbleheads, which is Luck. And that is on Spectacle Island, which is uh, kind of the big island to the southeast of the map. So it's very close to where Jody was. And once you are on this island, uh, it's going to do a little fade in a second right there. Sorry, but I got totally lost. You're going to head to the southernmost point of the island. Now, this place is another place you don't want to be unless you're a pretty high level. Uh, it's full of Mire Lurks, Mire Lurk Kings, Mire Lurk Hunters, all kinds of really shitty stuff in this game. So, uh, just head up in this boat and turn around. The Luck Bobblehead is just in a locker waiting for you. And once you pick that guy up, you'll be done with all of your special Bobbleheads and you're up to seven. So now, we're gonna go on to the skills, which aren't really in Fallout 4 anymore. It's pretty much just special now. But these help you in very specific ways. So at Longneck Lukowski's Cannery, which is in the northeastern part of the map, uh, it's a pretty friendly place. There's actually just this dude, a bunch of Mr. Handy robots inside. There's something red underneath, like in the basement, but I didn't even bother going down there. I just uh, came up here and ran all the way over to the barter bobblehead, which is just chilling on a computer. This one is pretty easy. You don't have to fight anybody, really. Uh, but this is behind a master lock, if I'm not mistaken, so you gotta get your lock up that high at least. Now, the next one is in Vault 95, which I'm showing you is near the southwestern part of the map. That is the Glowing Sea. Uh, it's next to this phallic-looking highway. The Glowing Sea really sucks. It's full of radiation and really bad things. That's why I'm in my power armor, because I wanted to, uh, really make sure I was safe. And this place is pretty rough. It's full of gunners, and the gunners are super, super high level. So just make sure you're ready to fight them all. Uh, walk down the stairs on the right once you go down the elevator into the vault. And come through here. There will be a legendary gunner in here. So you'll have to fight them. And then waltz on through to see the big guns bobblehead waiting for you on top of a radio. And uh, yeah, so this one, not hard to find, but kind of hard yes. to get to because of all the fighting you have to do. So after Big Guns, we're moving on to Energy Weapons, which is in Fort Hagen. This is another mission-based one. I don't believe you can get this one unless you have the mission Reunions, which is a main storyline mission. So just keep going with the storyline, and eventually you'll have to find someone named Kellogg who is going to be inside Fort Hagen in this area. Now, I'm showing you... Uh, I'll show you on the local map where this is. It's the kitchen area once you go down the elevator. So uh, there it is. It's in the southwestern part of this level of Fort Hagen. And once you're in the kitchen, just walk to the back, and there will be these two refrigerators with the bobblehead on a table right in between them. So there's your energy weapons bobblehead. You can bump up your laser rifles, plasma rifles, all that good stuff. You get more critical damage. Hooray! Uh, Saugus Ironworks is where you'll find the explosives. It's right near the northeastern part of the map. This is another one that's not hard to find, but pretty hard to get to because of how difficult all the enemies are. You'll find a certain type of enemy in here, I think called Forgers. And they use specifically Flamers and Molotovs. So bring a lot of stin packs because you're going to get burned. And in here, you're going to have to fight a guy wearing power armor. He's pretty tough. But if you beat him, behind him is the explosive's bobblehead. So I also showed you on the local map what this place was called. Um, so you'll know exactly where in the building that is. Uh, the next one is Lockpick. Lockpick. God damn it. Lockpick in Pikmin Gallery. So, this is kind of in the northern part of this island here. I showed you where Sanctuary is. Uh, at the very end of Pikmin's Gallery, you'll run into Pikmin. He's kind of at the end of these catacombs. You've got to fight your way through. You see him there. I think certain speech options lead you to fight him, but I didn't. And on the ground is going to be your lockpick bobblehead just next to a garbage can, so make sure you're looking out for that. Because yes. it's just kind of chilling on its side. You could miss it pretty easily. Uh, again, that one's not too bad. Just a lot of raiders you have to fight. Medicine is in Vault 81. This one... Uh, okay, yeah, so Vault 81's right there. I'm showing you where's Fort Hagen. Vault 81's on the right. I forgot to record me uh, showing it on the map, but there it is. You also need the hole-in-the-wall mission, 
which you'll get from the doctor in Vault 81 once you get inside. He'll send you into a secret area of Vault 81, and you just want to go through the entire mission until you get to the very end of it. At the very end of the mission, you'll run into a uh, Mr. Handy robot. That's a girl, but she has a French accent. It sounds weird, but that's what it is. Her name is Curie. She can be a follower if you want. And uh, in her office, once you get her to unlock the door, is the medicine bobblehead. Now, I don't think you can mess up the speech to get her to unlock the door, because there's a cure in here you need as well. So there you go. That's pretty easy. Now, uh, Melee is in Trinity Tower. So there's Diamond City right there. So just to the east is going to be Trinity Tower, which I believe, being from Boston, is actually the Prudential Center. So if you're from Boston, that is what that building is called. I'm pretty sure it's a really tall tower. And uh, once you are on the roof... So I'm showing you. It's kind of cool. You're up on the roof. You can look out all over Boston. You'll have a mission to come up here and free this guy. So Rex Goodman. You'll get the mission as soon as you enter this building. So to get him out, the key is in this chest right here. Or if you have a master lockpick, you can get him out that way. Just come over here. Pop open the door. He'll be like, oh, thank you, thank you so much. All right, now get me to safety. And he'll walk out. And here's this friendly super mutant named Strong. Who's, uh, yeah, that's what he looks like. And on the table behind him is the melee weapon bobblehead. So we're uh, trucking through these ones. We only have, I think, six left. So doing pretty we well. Go. Pick that guy up and move on to the next, which is repair. It's in Corvega Assembly Plant. This is uh, not actually inside the building, but it is on the roof. So I think you can get there without actually going in. But there is a way to go inside, kill all the raiders, and then pop out. On the rooftop so I'm showing you this is where I am on the local map it looks like this so I'm outside I'm up on the roof and the bobblehead is way up on the catwalks up there it's next to that globe thing I mean it does look like just a giant globe so uh, run your way all the way up that door right there is where you can come out of the building and be upstairs uh, it's kind of hard to not know where I'm talking about because it's just so blatantly there it's like this giant thing on top of the building so just work your way up here to find the repair bobblehead on a box at the end of this catwalk and uh pick that guy up fusion core is permanently last 10 percent longer that's really good for your power armor the next one is in vault 75 so there is vault 111 in sanctuary it's just kind of a little bit to the southeast um and it's inside the basement of like an elementary school or something like that as soon as you get inside, you will get a mission to just, it's called Vault 75. It's explore the vault. So the last part of this mission is going to ask you uh, to kill a guy. There's like a bunch of raiders in here, or they might even be gunners again. But uh, to kill this dude, he'll be locked in this office. So take him out. He has a key card on him, so you can see the mission's telling me to search his body. But where you find him is where you'll find this bobblehead. And uh, it's just kind of chilling right there. So sneak up on it because you don't know what it's going to do to you. It's not a doll, as the achievement said. But you can go ahead and just pick it up and get your awesome science oh, yeah. bonus. Boop. One extra guess when hacking terminals. It's pretty awesome. The next one is in Gunner's Plaza. Small guns. This one is difficult. You want to be a very high level before trying this. I was level uh 38-ish when I did this. It is full of gunners. And the gunners are very, very high leveled. But work your way through. You'll get to this room that says on the air. It requires a master lockpick to open. So once you pop that open, two um, legendary rank gunners are going to be in here as well as two turrets. Take them both down and the small guns bobblehead is on the desk. So yeah, this one is a real pain to uh, just fight your way through. Make sure you have a shit ton of ammo and some pretty good guns and good armor and just be a high level in general. Uh, Sneak is in the Dunwich Borders. This is another one that's pretty high level. Uh, it's, again, in the northeast part of the map. You'll see the Witch Museum right there, which you'll get a miscellaneous mission to go to. So it's a pretty good uh, marker for where you'll need to be. Basically, you need to fight a shit ton of high-level raiders and then work your way inside the quarry to fight a lot of high-level ghouls. And once you're in Section 4 right here, it's pretty much the end of the quarry. Once you're going through, you'll get a unique knife and a bunch of cool stuff. The sneak bobblehead is just on a shelf right there. That's what it looks like on the local map. So this one, again, pretty difficult. Make sure you're a high level. I would say at least 20 or 25. Uh, speech is in Park Street Station. Uh, but really, it's Vault 114. So... 
Uh, this is a place you will have to go for the main storyline. Free Nick Valentine, unlikely Valentine, will be your mission. You'll end up in this vault when you go upstairs to where Nick Valentine is. He's locked in the overseer's office. You see him right there. And next to him on the table is the bobblehead. So uh, you're going to have to go over to this terminal. You'll get the password from a dude that you kill in here. Put the password in. It will uh, pop open the door. You just override the door controls. And once the door is open, head on inside and grab your speech bobblehead. Here comes Nick to be like, oh, thanks for uh, thanks for getting me, get me out of here and all kinds of shit like that. Uh, Knight shining armor, he's being real sarcastic. But uh, there is your speech bobblehead. A hundred more caps for every vendor for bartering. That's pretty awesome. Uh, and unarmed, this is our last bobblehead. It's in Adam Cat's garage, which there is Diamond City. It is southeast of that, way down here. Um, pretty close to some of the other bobbleheads. This one is just really easy because no one in here is dangerous to you. They won't want to fight you when you walk in. They're all friendly. They're wearing power armor. Just walk your way inside. There's a car in the garage right here, and unarmed is just chilling on the hood of the car. It's like a, uh, it's the hood ornament for this car. So you pick that up. 25% critical hit with all unarmed attacks. And there is their action figures, which is all 20 bobbleheads. So congratulations. Once you have all of them, you can uh, make your display in your house where you can show all of your 20 bobbleheads and how cool they are. And now that you have those, get out there, make some really cool power armor, discover some awesome places and Easter eggs and stuff like that. And if you want to see those videos, make sure to subscribe to Achievement Hunter so we can show you them and you can be the first to see them. So thanks, everyone. I will see you next time. I'm going to bed.